Uh, this is Thomas from At The Gates. You're watching Agoraphobic News. You've never been here uh, before at Exit Festival or what? Well, this is new for us, yeah. Uh, but it's uh, very uh, exciting, <laughs> very different. Yeah, uh, so you never played a fortress before, right? Well, we have played one fortress, you know, Brutal Assault in Czech yeah, Republic, right. that's a fortress. So we, we feel at home in the fortress. We love Brutal Assault and it just seems nice. Uh, yeah, uh, so uh, uh, your first time in Serbia was uh, 20 years ago with Napalm Death, right? Yes. Uh, can you recall that? A little bit. <laughs> No, it, it was good. Uh, it was really good. Very special. I mean, um, it was most special because of uh, the war. Yeah, was, right. It was war. kind of almost ended, and a lot of people were still touched by the war. You know, there were a lot of uh, a lot of horror, a lot of uh, catastrophes for for personal persons, um, and we were, became very humble watching. You know that. You know, Experiencing talking to people from, of course, all ex Yugoslavian countries. Yeah, right. played them all that, that tour. So that was very, very special. So that will stay with us forever. Uh, so did that uh, war influence your uh, lyrical themes, yeah. maybe, or because that was the the only war in Europe after yeah. the World War Two? So well, I mean, uh, we never really wrote like that. Obvious about uh, social topics. We kind of. Um, Look more uh, abstract and metaphorical about yeah. stuff, more philosophical issues, maybe like the reasons behind wars instead, you know, instead of the actual war. But uh, I don't know, everything you do, everything you, you know, uh, experience influences you as a person. And I know we, I remember we were really touched by the, the situation uh, here. Yes, and in uh, 1996 you did a tour with Dissection and Morbid Angel. How cool was that? I mean, <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> but you, you, you got to remember, at, at that point, at that time, death metal was not that big. So maybe in Florida. Well, no, I mean, not many people come out to shows in Florida. It's only bands, you know. So uh, on that US tour, there was not so many people. Maybe like in New York and LA, people came out, but in a small town, it was kind of a small tour. Yeah, right. But I mean, of course, good bands. <laughs> and uh, in 1990, you did a tour with Atheist and uh, Candlemas. Uh, and that was pretty special because uh, 80s is one of the greatest death metal bands around. So, uh, were you influenced by their sound or...? Uh, we actually never played with Atheist. Never? No. I mean, uh, no. I, I think I saw it in documentary or something uh, like that. No, uh, no uh, we have... Uh, in the documentary there's a story about us going to a show with Atheist. Uh -huh. uh, maybe, that's, uh, maybe that's the one you talk about. Like we're we at, the, at the early stage very influenced by Atheist. We really like their approach to, to writing music. To their, um, uh, how can you say, it's freedom they had as a band. Yeah. Uh, so the first record, well, especially for us, which we are old school, of course, uh, is uh, we, we, very, very special for us. Yeah, nice. Uh, and uh, your guitarist did a uh, project with uh, Jon Odvid of uh, Dissection. Uh, do you know some story behind it? I mean, uh, well, yeah. it was short-lived, but yeah, it was. That was a uh, thing uh, they did just to. Uh, Yes, to get some other music, you know, out that they had in them, they had to make it, you know, that we do that all the time, to do side projects and bands, you know, if you want to do something else, but it's not fitting inside your own band, you have to go outside, so, yeah. Uh, and uh, your debut album, uh, Red in the Sky is Ours, is uh, one of the greatest death metal uh, albums of all time, I mean, uh, there's plenty of uh, jazzy prog rock riffs around it, uh, plus the violin player and etc, etc. So, uh, what was the aim? Behind that album, I mean, uh, how big a thing uh, was we that for you? Very, very ambitious. <laughs> maybe, it's maybe a little bit too ambitious sometimes. I think uh, we tried so hard with everything. We wanted to be uh, everything at the same time. Uh, someone said like we tried to be the yes of death metal, <laughs> but we couldn't even play. <laughs> so that was hard. But you know, uh, in, in one way, it was. Uh, it became. Uh, a very special moment, I think, you know, because we made a lot, a lot above our possibilities, you know, uh, which I think sometimes kind of be exciting, you know, dear. Yeah, right. Uh, and a uh, Norwegian uh, black metal scene was kind of rebellious against the Temp of Florida thing and from the rest of the world, blah blah. But was that the case with the Swedish death metal? I mean, uh, were you influenced by, uh, let's say, Temp of Florida bands or not? 
Well, yeah, we, we listen to a lot of death metal bands from everywhere, and uh, we also liked when the second wave of black metal came, we liked some of that too. Yeah. We never really judged like that, you know, we never really cared, you know, where are they from, why are they here, is it good, is it bad, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't really matter to me. Uh, and was there any rivalry between the bands, I mean, uh, between the death metal, black metal bands back in the day? I mean, uh, there were some issues between uh, Norwegian bands and some Swedish bands, but never us. We were, we were approved. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. We were kind of like evil, so we were approved. Uh, so do you see yourselves as the uh, founding fathers of the, the melodic death metal music, or...? No, <laughs> not really. Uh, we, always, you know, we, we just try to be ourselves, really. And I mean, there's still a lot, a lot of other bands that have more sense of melody, maybe, you know. But as you mentioned, Dissection, you have Eucharist. So a lot of, lot of the, those old bands have maybe more metal, melodic feel than the Gates had. But we were a little, a little bit more brutal, actually, I think. Yeah, yeah right, of course. Uh, and uh, are you going to uh, release a new album in the future? Is there anything? Well, that... we don't know that yet. I mean, this is the last summer on this record, and then we're going to take a break to see where we are and what we want to do. Really, I mean, we are five friends for a long time, so we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, well, I, I can't answer that question right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, uh, is there any last words for for the fans? I mean, here in Serbia. Well, 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 thank you everybody for waiting. You know, it's 20 years and one month. That's quite a long time. So hopefully, next time you, you don't have to wait so long. You know, thanks. Yeah, yeah, right. So, thank you.